My name is Tony Barry and I play Ray Tivoli, who's the father of the family. My character is faced with a traumatic situation that uh, a decision is made that's outside his control for very good reasons. And as a consequence, he's left with uh, a very steep learning curve. When season one finished, um, I was struggling, uh, as I have been for the last eight years, with melanomas. And consequently, I, uh, I was left with um, a rather drastic decision to have to make in my own life which I suppose was capitalised on in a way in discussions with uh, Judy and Amanda, the producers and writer, um, as to how that could be incorporated into the show. And I was quite uh, more than willing to, to uh, explore that possibility and we do it. We do it outside the realm of what actually happened to me, but uh, nevertheless there is a dramatic uh, removal of uh, my capacity for perambulation and consequently uh, I have to find new ways to think about getting about. I've been uh, dealing with melanomas for eight years and I've had over 700 on this one leg and I underwent surgery the first few times and uh, they kept spreading. Went from one to two, two to eight, eight to 23. I'd watched a friend of mine uh, who gave up all her lymph nodes and six weeks later she was dead from melanoma. And I wanted to find some way of sticking around. Not just because I knew they were gonna do a second season, but because I liked the idea of breathing in and out. <laughs> and the sun's shining, the birds are chirping, and it's great to be alive. So. I looked at these alternative possibilities and researched many of them and came up with a regime that's kept me going since. As in life, Tony has, has handled his new situation with such grace and yeah, v mainly very funny, like on set, mm. very, like mm. he, would, he made, would make jokes at his own expense quite regularly, keep everybody laughing. Um, so he's, 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 the perfect, he's the perfect person for Bernadette to go to, Ray is. And isn't it great to see a woman of my generation going to, her, going to an elder and, you know, asking them for their wise thoughts? I don't think we see that enough on TV. No. Because he's in such a curious situation, because everyone is treating him like a toddler all of a sudden. And not without reason, in a way, because he can't do so. He's gone from being this incredibly, well, the character's gone from being a very competent uh, physical man. He's supposed to be an ex-footballer. He had a big presence. To suddenly being treated like a child who can't even have a shower on his own. Mm. And because he actually can't. And so how do you do that? How do you keep your dignity while, when losing a limb? And Tony, the actor, has done it and he's managed to make Ray do it too.